As bishops of the Catholic Church in Arizona, we would like to take this opportunity to discuss the importance of faith with regard to the upcoming election. The Catholic Church is not partisan and does not endorse candidates. We are, however, firmly committed to promoting Catholic teaching and encouraging the laity to engage fully in promoting the common good in all aspects of their lives. In fact, it is our obligation as both Catholics and faithful citizens to make our society a better place to live in for all people. And voting is an important part of this obligation. When casting one's vote, we are called to set aside any personal interests. We are also called to pray and reflect upon Catholic teaching. Catholic teaching reminds us that the protection of innocent human life from abortion is the preeminent issue of our time. Accordingly, respect for the human dignity of all people, including immigrants, refugees, the poor, and those on death row are also critical parts of Catholic social teaching. We rejoice in the recent decision by the United States Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade and fully understand that we must not rest, but rather persevere to help all vulnerable pregnant women by walking with moms in need. It is also because of our Catholic faith that we are deeply saddened that the sanctity of human life has been eroded by the resumption of executions in Arizona after a nearly eight-year respite and continue to pray and advocate for an end to the death penalty. We oppose all forms of unjust discrimination and advocate for the healing of divisions that have resulted from racism in all its various forms throughout the years. We are also greatly concerned with the ability of people from all faiths to freely practice their religion. The importance of marriage and the rights of parents to have meaningful options available to educate their children are, are considerations that are also fundamental to our faith, along with our care for our created world and a just use of natural resources. On a more local level, it is because of our concern to help educate children, especially those brought to this country at a young age through no responsibility of their own, that we are supporting an effort on this year's ballot to allow undocumented immigrants who have graduated from Arizona high schools the ability to receive in-state college tuition. And we are therefore encouraging a yes vote on Proposition 308. Similarly, Arizona's Catholic bishops are also concerned for the many Arizona families currently suffering because of emergency medical debt and predatory debt collection practices. Accordingly, we are encouraging a yes vote on Proposition 209 in order to better protect consumers. Presently, we are facing many different challenges and living in a sharply divided country. During this time, however, let us not forget our responsibility as Catholics to care for each other, to perform in acts of charity, to remain civil and respectful in this time of political debate, and most importantly, to pray. Let us also not forget our responsibility as faithful Catholic citizens to live our faith in all that we do and to vote in the November 8th election. And finally, for a more detailed understanding of our political responsibilities as faithful citizens, please visit the website for the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops to review our document on political life, forming consciences for faithful citizenship. Thank you, and God bless you.